Neatly stacked in plastic bins. Yeah, I, I separate them out by color and brand. Mike Valley has an impressive collection of beer bottle caps. I would estimate anywhere between 50 and 100,000 bottle caps. They've got you know, bright yellows and silvers and... Drawn to their bright colors and designs, he started saving them when in college. And then one day, had the idea to turn them into art. After about 10 years of saving them, I, I finally you know, did my first portrait, and that was the Mona Lisa. Um, and it was just, you know, it was just a challenge. I wanted to see what I could do with the bottle caps and give them a new life and repurpose them. It took him six months to complete the Mona Lisa, and since then, he's gone on to complete many more. I do it all on graph paper first so I can have a small sample of what I'm doing. And, um, from there, once I get right on paper, then I start laying it out with bottle caps. When I've got a good number of caps, I'll you know, stand over it with my camera and take a picture and see how it looks. You can see the face popping sure out. Sure you can. Right. He does this because up close it just looks like a bunch of bottle caps. You have to stand back to see the big picture. You know, the way it looks on paper and the way it translates to caps doesn't always work based on the logo on the cap. Or, right. So, you know, I'll, I'll deviate from the paper design and, you know, change out some colors here and there until I've got it perfectly, wow. perfectly is, laid is out. It... I stay up late at night trying to figure them out sometimes. Yeah. Ah. So far, he's used 30,000 bottle caps in his art and counting. I'm going to start, you know, getting them ready to glue down. I'd say that Mike Valley's work would be hard for anyone else to top. <laughs> Roy Ackland, Fox 8 News.